Well, Palm Springs has been great. It's my first time here and I'm coming from Wisconsin. So just having that change in weather and atmosphere, it really does feel like a whole nother world. I would go anywhere uh, the ATA conference is held, but Palm Springs is uh, very special. I remember my very first conference in Toronto in 2004. I was a little scared. And now that we have the Newbies and Buddies program, I think it's so much easier. We're excited to be probably some of the first people to welcome here to ATA 60 in Palm Springs. It's a pleasure to be here and it's a joy to see all of your faces. <laughs> I thought it was, going to, it was going to be very difficult for me to meet people, to talk to them, and it wasn't. People is really friendly, and they welcome you, and they make you feel comfortable. So I'm going to make a statement. If it's true of you, you stand up, point at someone else, and say connection. I live in California. Okay, point and say connection. I want to hear people say connection. <laughs> What I remember about the icebreaker is how much fun everybody was having. And I think that shows how comfortable people are getting uh, thanks to this program. English and Japanese. Oh yeah, I see that from the dots, right? We get that information. The dots are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, As a first time attendee, a little bit of nervousness, a little bit of anxiety, but those doubts have been put to rest by everybody's warm welcomes and smiles walking through the hallways. Started in 2017 and I'm trying to do exactly what you talked about, which is get those direct clients. And you'll notice that everybody is incredibly friendly, especially uh, with, uh, with new newcomers to the industry. I absolutely love the welcome reception this year. The background, those mountains were wonderful. There's this beautiful sky up above us and kind of these, you know, mountain range in the distance and it was just the perfect setting. Food was good, lots of people spreading around, talking to each other, making uh, new friends, meeting up with old ones. It sets off the good tone for the conference. Just take four photos, look right here, and three, two. You can't keep me away from the photo booth. <laughs> It's just fun to be a little bit goofy and not take yourself that seriously. This is our moment to shine. I think we need to just really nail it, okay? Even if you say, okay, let's take one good one, and then you see the photos, and there are no good ones, but it was still a really good time. Nailed it! <laughs> Welcome to Palm Springs, this great venue. Sessions are always good. You know, there's something for the newcomer to the profession, the mid-careerist, and, and the old-timers. There's always something to learn. I went to a session today with Yoast, and he was so passionate about the topic. It was, it was an incredible session. And I know that there's a nice mix of sessions for beginners and really esoteric niche sessions for people who do very narrow fields. We see all these great things we can learn and tools that we can apply to our everyday practice. There's always a lot to learn from, from each other. That's what it's all about. We're all learning from, from our colleagues. The exhibit hall is a really good way to just see, see who's out there. I always make time to go to that. They were designed for planners fasciitis. It's very effective for neuropathy as well. Black and white cookies if you want one. Shall we look? Yes! So oh my look. gosh, you have Libro Rose. Okay, let's say the ones I have. But the best booth this year, I think, is the platinum sponsor, Smartling. They have a podcast studio set up where they interview translators about their experience. And they got cool t-shirts, too. I love Zumba. And Chris, um, our instructor, she put so much love into it, uh, selecting the music. And so it is great. I come out there with a smile from ear to ear. and. Uh, one feels just so energized after doing a little salsa, cha-cha, and merengue, and it's just wonderful. Once you do the Zumba, once you do the exercise and the songs, it basically sets you up with a lot of energy. I told my husband before I came, I really hope there are some guys that are there to take your place. And I encourage the men to come on out and Zumba with us. We have the mindful movement session every morning at the conference um, at 6.30 at the moment. And it has just been absolutely beautiful. We have this grassy space. We've had about 30 people every morning. And we literally start the day moving 
and breathing and just watching the sun come up. You know, just by starting your day on that quiet, reflective note, everything else seems to move more smoothly. We have a, a human translator sticker. This is our, this is my initiative for this year's Tweet Up. The Tweet Up is one of my favorite things. Are you here for the Tweet Up? It's basically a bunch of people who get together and then they tweet. I know that sounds kind of weird. We're together in real life, but we're still tweeting. Uh, but it's a, it's a lot of fun and you get to put the name with a face. We don't have that much contact on a daily basis with other translators. So social media fills that gap a little bit. When you go to the job fair, um, it's a chance where you know that the uh, clients and the companies that are there, they're interested, they're looking for people, they're trying to recruit. And we had a pretty good turnout and we're really happy to be able to do it for two nights. You no, know, it's sometimes maybe intimidating to walk into a room and be like, do I stand out compared to all these other translators that are here? But you just find a way to connect with whoever you're speaking with and then you make sure to follow up. And I'm Allison. Right. Chris, also, yes. have a great Thank time. You. Brainstorm Network is one of my favorite events at the conference. Take a minute to introduce yourselves and trade business cards. And there's five or six of you at a table and you've got these scenarios and you discuss those, but you're also exchanging business cards, making new connections. Very Italian. Yeah. <laughs> However, I tried to make you pick up. <laughs> you can't necessarily guarantee the volume or the speed of my work with you yet. It's pretty full on, you know, it's a, you're talking a lot and you're learning at the same time that you're getting to know other people, you're meeting a lot of people. And it's a really creative way of finding uh, solutions and connecting with people. Well, it was nice to meet all of you. you too. It's hard to go back home and have to say goodbye for another year. The laughter, the memories, <laughs> but I know it's not gonna last. I'm gonna miss the people and the bus and the energy. I will miss the tribe of 1,300 of us who are here. It's nice to realize that when you come to a place like this, there are a lot of us out there. And it just makes you feel like you're part of a community, so I, I think I'll miss that. This is a reunion for me, and so I'll miss being away from them after leaving the conference. It's just wonderful, and, and all that energy, and I come back home energized.